Welcome to OMG Old Man Golf. Click the subscribe button and become a golf gangster. Click the bell to get notifications. Germany and we're playing golf again. And thank God, it's so nice to be on the golf course. But uh, this round I'm bringing you um, up and down roller coaster round. Um, the effects of the layoff are showing up. Um, fatigue and just uh, poor decision making. Uh, up and down, up and down. Got to get consistent again, but I love being on the golf course. Stay safe, stay healthy. The fun starts right now with a 376 yard par four, number three handicap. And I've hooked it to the left just a little bit. Hopefully I'm in the fairway, but I'm not. I tell you what, that six feet makes such a difference on the shot, being on the fairway versus being in the rough. All right, I'm gonna hit a six iron. And it uh, squirts across the, the fairway, and I'm on the other side of the fairway now. I'm trying to punch my six iron 120 yards under the tree and nothing but net. No. 0 for 1 from the sweet spot. I got a lob wedge to get onto the green. Now I got a long bogey putt. You can't even see me in this picture barely. 10 o'clock on the clock. And that does not go in. Got a bogey putt. No, a double bogey putt. Now make that a uh, triple bogey putt. Oh, for one on the up and downs. Three putts, seven to start off. The second hole is a 419 yard par four. I got my uh, shot tracer set up, but I didn't capture the shot. It's the beginning of the year, give me a break. All right, so I got Heavenwood from a long ways and not a good choice. Now I've got uh, four hybrid. Not a great choice. Now I'm going for the hero shot with a lob wedge over the sand where I should just be playing to the front of the green. And it's in the trap. The wheels are off. I'm giving myself a good talking to. My brain is kicking in. I've got a sand wedge shot here. And that's nice. That's real nice. And then I make up and down for double bogey. The third hole is a 331 yard par four. Just don't go right out of bounds or hit it left into the rough and it's an easy hole. All right, I didn't hit it well, but I have six iron, 150 yards. And I pull it off to the left, so I got lob wedge to get up on the green. Not quite close enough to hit my uh, Eight iron, too much rough. So lob wedge. I got a putt to say par. Nope. Got a clean up putt to make bogey. Hey, but after the way I started five over after two holes, I'll take bogey. The fourth hole is the number one handicap. Dog legs right hard, and there's this silly hole in the middle of the fairway. So I'm hitting Heavenwood to miss the hole. I'm in a pretty good spot, so I'm gonna hit six iron. See, I'm playing this old man smart golf after that good talking to I had. All right, I got 110, I'm hitting pitching wedge. But I miss out to the left, I'm 0 for three on uh, sweet spots. I got a uh, Texas wedge here. Got a bogey putt. Nice up and down. The fifth hole is a 342 yard par four that dog legs hard left and it's so tempting to try to cut that corner and I tried and I failed. Now I gotta punch it out. 
I have six iron from 150. I'm going to try to feed it through those trees and get it up to the green. Well, I came up short, but actually I, I couldn't have hoped for a whole lot better than I got lob wedge. I would putt for par. Oh, almost. All right, bogey. After the way I started, it's okay. The six hole is 167 yard par three, and I'm hitting my heavenwood. It's a, it's a tough green to hit because it is risen up high in the front and it slopes away to the back with sand traps on the left and the right. And I get it into the sand trap. But after what I did on number two, what do I got to be scared about? The sand. Well, I get it out, but I don't get it on the green. And I get to put my favorite club in my hand. I got the eight iron. I'm gonna hit an eight iron chip. It's nice to make a par. I got a 306 yard par four for number seven. Just split the field goal. Oh, I got it in the rough a little bit, so I'm trying to punch a five iron under this stuff and up onto the green from 120 yards out. And I came up short. 0 for 3 on the sweet spots. Got a lob wedge up. Can I make two pars in a row? Nope. Finish this up for a bogey. 3 for 7 on the up and downs. The 8th hole is a 289-yard par 4. No luck on the uh, shot tracer on this hole either. Just missed that tree. I did. I got sandwich in from 85 yards. Come on, let's get a sweet spot hit here. Nope, come up short. I got the eight iron. You know there's that silly game where if you lose a hole, you get you lose they get to take one of your clubs away. I'll never play that game. Par putt, because I lose my eight iron and my six iron and I'm dead. That's par. All right, the ninth hole is a 340-yard par four. That dog leg's hard right. A lot of hard dog legs on this course. Hit driver. I got 120 yards. Hit nine iron. Just got to miss that tree. Just barely to get onto the, the line for the green. All right, I missed the green. But I got my 8-iron in my hand. I think I'd almost rather miss the green than be 50 foot off with my putter. All right, rolled up there, got a par putt. And I make it. After the way I started, five over after two to wind up shooting bogey golf is amazing. Well, I shot nine over 44 with nine chips, nine chips and 14 putts. Um, my long game was obviously pretty solid. Uh, it was good to be back and uh, got to stay with it. Got to just, when you have those bad holes, let it go, focus, get your brain set again. When your wheels come off the truck, use your brain to put them back on. I need to work and finalize my improvement plan for this year. And up and downs and sweet spots will be part of the plan. One for two from the sand bunkers on the front nine, five for nine on the up and downs. That's amazing. But oh for five on the sweet spot. That's pathetic. So it's a roller coaster. Y'all stay safe. Watch the back nine.